Here's how you can report police speed checks in Apple Maps. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Many users love Waze, and Apple has steadily been bringing many of Waze's feature to Apple Maps through subsequent updates. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can flag police speed checks as well as hazards and crashes all through Apple Maps. Now there are two different ways that we can go about this. You can do it just on your iPhone if you're navigating with this, but I'm also going to show you how you can do it through Apple CarPlay. It is just as easy to do. So depending on if you're using the phone by itself to navigate or if you're using CarPlay in your car, uh, I'll show you how you can do it. Let's go ahead and start. First, I'm gonna show you how you can do it straight from your iPhone inside of Apple Maps. First, you need to make sure that you're navigating somewhere because you could just be inside. Then you're gonna tap on that little arrow on the bottom of your screen, that little up arrow. And then you're gonna hit report an incident. Then you're gonna have three options, crash, hazard, or speed check. Choose speed check or crash or hazard if that's what you're reporting. And that's it. You've done it, you've reported a speed check. Now other users will see that that police speed check is up ahead. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing in Apple Maps. It's really similar, but I'll walk you through it just in case. And now there are two different ways you can do it inside of Apple Maps. First, you could do it when you're not navigating. You're just in the car and you have maps pulled up. Maybe you like to see what's going on around you, whatever, or maybe you just wanna pull it up so you can report an incident such as this. So in this case, you're not navigating, you can open up Apple Maps, and on the right-hand side, you're gonna see like a chat bubble with an exclamation point inside. Tap on that, you have a little pop-up in that left-hand corner where you can choose to report either a hazard, a crash, or a police speed check. Once you go ahead and choose one, it'll give you an okay confirmation that will disappear on its own after just a few seconds. Now, if you are navigating, it is just slightly different. It's more similar to how it is just on the iPhone. So if you're navigating, you're gonna go ahead and tap that little up arrow, just like you did on your iPhone, which you can bring up that screen. And then you're gonna tap on report. So instead of report an incident, it just says report. But then you have the same three options, crash, hazard, and a police speed check. Choose the one that is most fitting and go on your way. And again, when you report these, other users will then see them on their screens. So you report it, someone else is driving down that road, they're gonna see a police speed check is up ahead. It's very handy to do, and of course, I love it when other people report it for me so I can see it as well. So it's not just something I'm doing for other people. When other people do it for me, it is really handy while I'm driving. Let me know what you guys think. Do you use Apple Maps? Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, and I'll catch you in the next video.